good things have popped up from 2020, including an explosion in home gardening. <laughs> Not just flowers, but fruits and veggies. Pittsburghers are growing in their backyard and cooking up for dinner. I love everything about this. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 anchor Shannon Perrine shows us what the gardening craze means for a local company that's working very hard to go global by staying local. I was really bad <laughs> like I would I, and I think a lot of people relate to this they're like I will kill something just by looking at it. Ashley Mariani takes pride in how far she's come as a gardener the pandemic had something to do with that. Oh my gosh well this is especially true during the pandemic because every time I go through the grocery store around this time I'm like I cannot wait till I just skip the produce line or at least most of it and not have to buy tomatoes not have to buy cucumbers because I just walk out my door and just pick what I need. We recently dug in the dirt in her Brookline backyard. I can't even grow basil so I asked her for help. Trust me, anyone could be a good gardener. There's no such thing as like a magical green thumb. Everybody has those skills within them. For produce, she advises you use a fertilizer and don't skimp. I love Espoma Grow okay. really a lot, um, but any type of fish emulsion is good. Definitely don't buy the cheap stuff. And she changed her topsoil to a Pittsburgh product called Pit Moss. I was watering less, which is wonderful, but the plant growth was pretty much undeniable. We went to the pit moss factory in Ambridge, Beaver County. We take recycled material like paper and cardboard. Uh, we finally chop it, we fibrize it, we reconstitute it to make it soil. Pit moss scored big on ABC's Shark Tank 10 years ago with Mark Cuban making an investment. Now the company CEO has a challenge for Pittsburgh. Uh, we would love to make Pittsburgh the first peat-free city in America. So we'd really love to see our local government, the county, the city, everybody take a peat-free pledge. And whether it be pit moss or a locally made compost, but let's kick that peat habit. Most other topsoils you buy are peat-based. Science lesson time. According to the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, damaged peatlands are a big source of human-caused greenhouse gas emissions. Every year they release almost 6% of human-related CO2 emissions. The main ingredient in pit moss, old cardboard and paper. Peat is what most soil is made from. It's really bad for the environment. It's got terrible carbon emissions. And this is a great way to recycle, use like old paper waste, turn it into locally made soil that we can use and it's way better for plants. Pit Moss CEO Brian Scott says his soil replacement holds water well, so it's good for lazy gardeners who don't water as often as they should. It is pH neutral and it has great aeration, he says. Number one, that leads to much better root growth because they like having that air water exchange. And then because of the biological activity, it can absorb nutrients way better than peat based soils can. One of their best clients, cannabis farmers. Whether you're growing a tomato or flower for cannabis, a bigger, healthier plant with more yield is always going to be better, right? You won't find pit moss at big box stores. We're about hyper local, having a local factory using local waste to make local material that can then be sold locally. Did he mention they're local? They sell to local garden centers. Pit Moss has hired twice as many people as they have last year, and they pay 15 to $20 an hour. Business is great. We grew 127% the first quarter. Uh, this month is not over yet, but we've already grown more than 100%. And next month, we think we'll do twice as much as we did this past month. More yeah, gardening advice from Ashley. Happy. That's the other thing about gardening. Like, you will fail, and that's just part of it. She says start small and plan for big plants. Yeah. Just one, just get one really big container. I always fail at tomatoes if I put them in two small containers. Ah. You never realize how big they're going to grow. This year, she is determined to grow yellow onion. This little tiny, teeny <laughs> root is going to grow into something delicious for you. I hope so. Thank you. I'm Shannon Perron, <laughs> Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Good job, Shannon. I learned so much, and you can see the interest is there. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I was literally leaning forward listening. I mean, you know me. And that's and that I love to see a local company and what they're now doing for the environment as well. So And lazy gardeners, too. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you can be a not-so-lazy or a lazy gardener, and it still works. Can't wait to get an update and see how the company's doing as well. Um, and Ashley's Garden, too, <laughs> in a couple months.